Hi, welcome back to my developer channel. My name is Srikant. In this video, I'm going to talk about SAP Web ID for HANA and its usage in SAP development world. Now we know that SAP Web ID for HANA is a successor of uh, HANA Studio and also Eclipse development tools. However, it is not completely uh, true for the most part because uh, Web ID for HANA is only for native HANA developments, not for any of the BAP-based object developments. So with that, for any of the SAP S4 uh, HANA ABAP and also BW4 HANA de object developments, we still need to have Eclipse tooling uh, for making it. So those developments will be done in a BAP perspective and also the BW modeling perspective of Eclipse tooling respectively. Let's discuss this topic in detail with a couple of scenarios. I've got one scenario for S4 HANA and also another scenario for BW4 HANA. At first, we're going to see, take a look at S4 HANA scenario with XSA and Web IDE. From this diagram, we can see that is an HANA platform and inside the platform, we got database, HANA database and also got installed the XSA runtime. Also have the tool Web IDE for HANA install along with XSC runtime. And all the native HANA abstract developments are going to be done in Web ID for HANA here, which could be your calculation views, tables, uh, procedures, and etc. We also have an ABAP stack install for S4 HANA scenario. Uh, and here we have core data services called CDS views and AMDPs, ABAP managed database procedures and also other ABAP repository objects like classes and methods and etc. These objects are developed in Eclipse uh, tooling in the ABAP perspective for HANA. As soon as we activate those objects, they get deployed or uh, created as SQL objects inside the database. Could be SQL views for CDS and database procedures for AMDPs uh, respectively. So now we can notice that we cannot really use Web ID for HANA uh, for any of the ABAP object developments uh, to be done. Uh, similarly, the other side of it as well. So we cannot really uh, consume the, the HDI based container objects inside the core data services. So with that, there is no tight integration between your ABAP stack and the, the XSA stack or with Web ID for HANA objects. In today's situation, XSA uh, runtime and Web ID for HANA tooling in S4 HANA 1809 is relevant only for BPC optimized for S4 HANA product. This is because the standard content for BPC optimized is now coming up with HDI based content, which could be a, your master data calculation views or your transaction data calculation views are now uh, shipped as part of HDI uh, infrastructure. In general, our typical S4 analytics or S4 transactional scenarios, we're still going through the path of having all the objects developed in a BAP stack using core data services or AMDPs or other ABAP repository objects being developed in uh, a BAP perspective of Eclipse tooling. So now I can conclude that uh, the Web ID for HANA and XSA runtime are now making sense only for BPC optimized for S4 HANA product only in, 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 in the SAP HANA, S4 HANA world. You can find more information about uh, BPC optimized for S4 HANA content enablement for HA container in the, in, in the note. Uh, so in this note, it talks about HDI migration for BPC optimized uh, in 1809 version. The next scenario I'm going to talk about is BW4 HANA with XSA and Web ID tooling perspective. In this scenario also, we're going to have similar uh, HANA platform and we got a HANA database inside that and we got also XSA runtime installed and we have Web ID for HANA tool installed for native HANA object developments. We also have the BW stack, which contains uh, um, ADS was open ODS views, composite pro several BW objects being developed there in Eclipse uh, BW perspective uh, for modeling. As we've seen in the previous scenario of S4HANA, 
uh, in BW for HANA also, we cannot really uh, act, uh, build any of the BW objects inside WebID for HANA. Because WebID here also, it is only meant to be for native HANA objects developments. So now we can see there are two scenarios in, in this in this BW for HANA uh, world. The one is uh, the BW data warehouse and the other one is SQL data warehouse. So the SQL data warehouse is the one which we've been looking at in using the HANA Studio and doing some extractions to the HANA database and building some modeling views and exposing those views to the reporting and analytics. That's the pretty much SQL data warehouse concludes. And the BW data warehouse on the other side, uh, having the BW based modeling done and then uh, consuming these models to the reporting applications is what about uh, BW data warehouse. So still there are two different warehouses in, in, in this scenario, but there is a very little integration uh, happened so far. Unlike in BW on HANA where there was a mixed scenario integration of having um, these objects uh, generated them as external views inside the HANA studio or inside the SQL data warehouse and vice versa also which is um, calculation views uh, using them in composite providers etc is now not possible at this moment. The mixed scenarios are not at possible so I cannot have a HDI based calculation view accessed freely in any of the composite provider right now. Similarly, vice versa, the generated objects from my BW perspective, the composite provider generated views, I cannot have them inside my HDA containers. We can find more information about um, those uh, supportability of those objects inside uh, BW for HANA in this node. So with these two cases, now I'm concluding that uh, we still continue to use Eclipse tool uh, in S4HANA and BW4HANA scenarios without any disruptions uh, for uh, ABAP or BW object-based developments. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.